Hey there, it's Mr. Kevin. Some of you might know me, but I bet a lot of you don't. If you come with your grown-ups to church, maybe you'll see me in the back, helping run the video for people watching online. If you see me back there on a Sunday, please wave hello. Okay, so this is my first time here. And I'm really excited because I get to share an interesting message with you. You know, not every day is pizza and video games as much as I'd like it to be. Sometimes we face difficult things, but God wants us to bring those things to him. Sometimes that might seem difficult to do, right? Especially if the way we're used to doing those things isn't working. Have you ever tried to deal with a problem in an interesting way? You know, there's a whole book of the Bible called Lamentations, and it's filled with poetry and prayers from a long time ago. In that book, God's people were really sad because their temple was destroyed. And back before Jesus came to earth, it was really hard to feel like you were connected to God without the temple. Lamentations is also a pretty different book of the Bible. It uses acrostic poetry for the prayers written in there. Acrostic is a big and strange word, but it's another way of saying from A to Z. So the prayers in Lamentations are literally arranged using the Hebrew alphabet. And it's done to create a way of putting the prayers in order so the Israelites could memorize them and that helped them work through their sadness. But you know, prayers aren't always about things you're sad about, right? They're also ways for you to ask for help and to give thanks. Even today, we use prayers that kind of feel like songs or poems to help us remember them and bring us comfort. Do you know this one? Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Guide and guard me through the night, and wake me with the morning's light. Amen. What's something that we can pray about together like that? I know a lot of you are getting ready for school, and some of you are going to preschool or kindergarten, which is going to be a brand new thing for you. Can we use the letters of the alphabet to make a prayer about school? Okay, I'll give it a try. I don't have time to go through the whole alphabet, but... Maybe you can send Pastor Charina your acrostic prayers and pick up where I leave off. So here goes. A. Autumn is coming, and summer vacation is almost over. Lord, please help me look forward to this change. B. Being brave this year when I'm learning new things or feeling unsure is something I need your help with, Lord. C. Caring for others is my way to show that I love them, and it helps them see you in me. Please help me see moments when I can care for others. Amen. See? Like that. Can you use the alphabet to pray about your feelings? Give it a try. God wants us to bring all of this to him. He's there for us when we need it, and especially when we're facing something difficult. In Psalm 34, 18, it says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Bring your feelings to God and he'll listen. Okay, that's it for this week. Think on that big word acrostic and the things I've said as you pray. Maybe I'll have another chance to share with you again soon. Bye!